Hippies Chopper Corner, take 13. Welcome to another episode of Hippies Chopper Corner, where he's, he's got choppers, and there's a corner. He's got merch. Probably ain't got no way for you to buy them, but keep an ear out for that. We good yet. All right, coming back to you live. So that's H for hippie, C for choppers, and the other C is because I got like corners and shit in my shop. And that, that's my boy Slick. Oh, we got Slick. Oh, Slick head. What's on the back of it? Man, hey, that bomb. It's pretty smooth. Hey, you got that bomb, boy. That, oh. How do I get one of these? What, one of these? Yeah. He's got, he got like a website and shit. I, I hit up Slick. <coughs> I, don't, I don't too much got no website. Well, I, I dig this one, man. I thank you for letting me buy this from you. Twenty five dollars? Yeah, I don't want to need money. <laughs> I yeah. need thirty five. I need man. I need my money. <laughs> yeah, pimp better have my money. So I guess we're gonna work on this. Uh, we're gonna work on this soft tail today. Yep. All right, we'll be back, y'all. How you gonna tell me to hang on? Who's in charge? I am. What's this shirt? Uh, shirt? Executive producer What's right here. Shirt? Hey, that says Dickhead Customs. Hey, that shirt says Dippy. Dippy, Dippy, Dippy's Dropper Corner. Oh, that's me. <laughs> that's me. That's my chopper. That's my corner. Yeah. Hey, y'all see my corners? Hi. I got four of them. For you uh, people up in Jersey, four of them mean four of them. Four of them. And Ralph up in uh, Canada, it's a boot time. <laughs> it's a boot. While I'm speaking of them guys, y'all go check out Slick and Slickhead Cousin Cycles. That's my partner. Check out old Ralph up at uh, It's My Time, Let's Go, up in the cold, frozen, great white north of Nova Scotia. Followed. Uh, whoo, Edzilla, Edzilla 64, and uh, old Gus over there, uh, this old chopper, he's got some pretty cool scoops over there. While y'all in it, go give old X a holler. Maybe one day he'll get that old bike of his up going. And Richard Wrecked, if you're watching, bro, I sent you a shirt. You should have it by today at the latest. You should have got it today. Uh, but I shot you a DM. Uh, I don't know if you ever read it, though. But I shot you one, bro. Appreciate all that uh, swag you sent me, too. So a few things I'm having to do on this bike. Because uh, I told y'all when I debuted this bike, that a young kid had done it. And uh, I say young kid, he's, you know, he's probably in his mid twenties. Um, but he's, he's getting into older motorcycles, you know. Uh, he, it's his first shovel head. I traded him that shovel head project I had because he wanted a, an old bike. And I think it's just awesome that, that kids are getting into that. Um, uh, he wired this one himself, stripped it down, powder coated everything. Uh, rewired the whole bike. Um, but a couple of things I'm having to change. Uh, his ground wasn't, I, I didn't ever have any problems with it, but I went in and I knocked the powder coat off because that's where he grounded the battery mm -hmm. to. And then right here is where he grounded his tail light to, which we could have just been grounded the battery, I guess. But, right. Uh, so I had, and the tail light would work intermittently, and I figured out it was some powder coat. Yeah, right not there. a good ground on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, he told me that might be what it was, and I checked it, and, and that's exactly what it was. Um, that that's that's really the, a couple of wiring issues is all I need to change, and one little thing with the seat. But the biggest thing was on the brake. So um, this was the uh, the pressure switch that he had uh, on it. And uh, they make different uh, millimeters and different thread pitches. And the one that he had, uh, I think this one's an eight millimeter, this one's maybe a 10 millimeter. Uh, it wouldn't fit into the caliper. Well, I didn't realize it or remember it, but I had one on the shelf. It don't tell me eighth inch MP tweet. No, that's wrong thing. Uh. That's what this goes in. Uh, but it don't tell me. But anyway, I have the right yep, size and thread pitch 
to uh, to get this brake line hooked up because I thought what I thought I was going to have to do was uh, go back old school because this is a solid brake line, front to back. It's not two pieces, it's one piece. But the older stuff, you had the old pressure switch. This is the technology that I'm more used to. This will be the first time I've actually used one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, please don't call me a hipster for it. <laughs> Because the older technology is what I know. And I didn't realize I had that one hanging up over there. I'd bought it for something else. I don't remember what. That. And about this. I bet this one is what that one's for. I bet that's what goes together right there. So I was going to have to get another brake line uh, that I could put in between. You know, this one pretty much going between the, the brake line, right in the middle of the brake line. And it mounts to the bottom of your transmission plate mount. That's how it's supposed to mount in your bike. Right. Uh, but I ain't having to do that now. Uh, Cause it's got this. So yay. But I'm not going to- Did you put washers on that? Y'all watching okay. me solder it, huh? You're making sure you got the washers. Them washers? Washers. You got them washers? Boy? That's how we say it down here. Washers. Washers. Yeah, we put an R in wash. Wash. Yeah. Out of principle. I mean, overall, for a young dude to be making, you know, his custom bike, he did a good job. Yeah. Yeah, he did, man. A uh, couple little things he, he just didn't know is all it was. And it was things that I didn't know the first bikes I did, you know. First bikes I did, I powder coated them too because it was a, a F ton cheaper to do that. Powder coat's a lot cheaper. And the powder coat looks good. It's just, it needed some body work, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, I'll, I'll get it painted. Uh, I hadn't pulled the tank off yet to see if he just threaded the backbone or put bones in it. But that was one th thing I learned over the years was to quit threading the backbone and buy threaded bones to yeah. weld in there. Um, and I hadn't shown him yet this, but yeah. David, he's down in bike week, matter of fact, so I'm jealous of that. But check out what I did to the seat, bro. Now the seat's not going to be so hard to get on and off. So I cut the head off of that bolt, put some red Loctite on it, and I seized pretty much. Basically, now that's just a piece of all thread. It's actually a bolt, but a piece of all thread. Mm -hmm. But instead of having to... Instead of having to put that on there and then get under here to get a bolt started with the tire on it. Yeah. Now, one screw takes it off, Dave. Pop that screw off. Cool. And it did that, it did that easy. See how I tell you. <laughs> if you do it loud enough, it, it look easy. That was easy. But that's a couple of little subtle changes that I've had to make on it. Uh. So, he had the, uh... When did you take these front brakes on? Oh, I just pulled, took the caliper off. Yeah. I ain't pulled the rotor off yet. I still got to pull the rotor off. Uh, I'm probably going to sell that front end. My buddy, I in Clarksville, wants to buy it. Hell, that complete front end like that? With brakes and everything, mm -hmm. man, that's, with the headlight bezel, with all, all complete, probably wheel, tire, brakes, and everything, 500 bucks is a deal. Yeah. Bro, I've seen just the triple tree and the sliders go for 500. I wouldn't pay that for it, but I'm not building an FLH anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm probably going to. Just modify this one to where I want it with a, a six over narrow spring with a spool hub front wheel. Probably a, I might stay with them buckhorns, I don't know. See how I like it when I put the front end on it, but I'm gonna need to do a different fender, different seat, do the seats apart, you know, put that old hippie touch on it. Uh, <coughs> And then, uh, man, there's a high probability I might just sell them one. I don't know. I, I, 
I don't have any great feelings for this bike, but I ain't rode it yet either. But it, it would be nice to have a nice little custom bike that I don't have to worry about kickstarting. Right. <laughs> you know, although my David Mann bike don't let me down most of the time. Yeah, David had it had it riveted in there, uh, and I just put a little little zipping screw back in it, little sheet metal zipping screw. Mm -hmm. um, that way, if I need to take it out I, on the side of the road, I can get it out, you know. Which so that. I need to solder this together. Oh, I need to put my brake lines back up. Then I need to bleed them. Um, I think this bike's gonna take dot four fluid. I can't really, hand me that flashlight over there on the table that you yep. set on the table for me a minute ago. Yeah. Shining on that. Oh, he, here's where we get yelled at for holding lights. Oh, you saw that? No, it's just childhood. No, it says dot five. This one takes dot five, too. Okay. Well, I just so happened to maybe have a little bit of dot five. Where I was recently just, get your swipe out my face, fool. <laughs> where I was just recently. Here, you turn that thing off. Where are you? <laughs> Don't yell at me anymore, man. Doing the brakes on that white see we, uh, This is indentured servitude, I think. I look up, you got your wiener in my face. <laughs> I'm trying to just look directly hey, at well, it. I, I bought you I dinner mean, I today. I cut my eyes over at it across the room, <laughs> but not just right here, like just all up in her. Yeah. And you just all up in her. My bad, dude. Yeah, no, it ain't oh, my God. bad. All right. Hell, I bought you dinner, I figured. You did. It's making yeah, me you might, might change. Too. It might change my oil or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I gotta be sure to zip tie that back up. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember how to get the rim, but the brake line is hooked back up. I just gotta hook the light switch up. Let's uh, let's get the back here. The battery. Where is the battery? Oh, that's right. Jump on that shelf. Hey, I need to get that uh, one trooper charger I gave you back. Now that's mine. No, I'm gonna give you another. No, I don't want that thing. What is that? Huh? It's mine. Look at this Indian giving. Wait a minute. Uh, get, maybe I'm wrong. I, I need for a lithium you. battery. You gave me some rinky dink. No, I had to, uh, lithium batteries take different. Triple chargers, mm -hmm. man. They taste double prongs. Oh. And you're, 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 you have just a standard. Yeah. Pigtail. Yeah. Hey, you did. I, I wasn't going to give it back to him, y'all. I know you would. I debo that shit. It's I mine. Hey, I think you're talking to them, but I can hear hey, you. Hey, it's mine. I can hear you, bro. <laughs> Slick was just talking about lithium batteries in his video today. Feel how light that is. That's like maybe two pounds. Yeah. Compared to, no, I didn't What's say wrong with that? It up. What's wrong with that thing? It's empty. Oh. You need to put more lithium in. Oh. That ain't got no. Ain't got no lithium in. That ain't got no. You done used all the lithium. Oh yeah. What they call them lithium batteries, boy? No, he did a good job. I like that. I need to replace these two head bolts over here. Actually, they're not bolts. They're nuts, but. People call them bolts because they look like bolts from the top, but they're big, long. See, that one's rusty, and this one's rusty, and I need to put a new washer on yeah, that. A new washer. Other than that, she my new gangster. And if I ever had to replace the electronic ignition, if you go with a Dyna S ignition, you can get rid of that modular box right there. You don't have to have that. Okay. They replace that. That's old Harley technology there. All right. He had all this zip tied up in here nice and pretty, but 
I don't know, and I'm gonna go back and zip tie that thing up all nice and pretty. No, nah, it ain't sketchy enough. This hippie chopper corner. Shit got to dangle around for hippie chopper corner. You just don't dangle around your face, right? Heard. Dangling, dangling. Heard. Hey, yer. That's my bike. Bro. Hey, it's a nice bike, dude. <sighs> Doing a good job. I can't tell. I get that something started. I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, you are. You're taking forever. That's the positive side, right? Yeah. I'm right. looking real naked. What was that, man? Zorro? Uh, you got them barking spiders in this shop, man. Something's wrong. That's what they call a poop poop. Uh huh. Well, this is what a, a mechanic is going to do. A mechanic is going to mechanic. Yeah. But I am not a mechanic, bro. I've never claimed to be. What are you? You're sketchy. I know that. Bitch. <laughs> Can't even look the battery back up, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's positive there, bro. I know, yeah, but it ain't positive. bending right. It ain't bent right. <clears throat> well, maybe... <laughs> <See>? <laughs> maybe next episode of Hippie's Chopper Corner, we'll teach you guys how to put in a fucking battery. Pardon my French. All right. Now I got it. Look at that. Perfect. You think finger tight's good enough? No. Not even for sketchy. Maybe, maybe to start it, but not to not, not to even keep it. For sketchy, is it? Oh. Uh, I mean, I've seen worse. Come out of here? Yeah. <laughs> well, half of them didn't even have batteries when they first got here. What are you trying to say? Oh. We keep them sketchy all the time. <laughs> we keep them sketchy all the time. <laughs> Slow and steady. <sighs> I see how he had this one. Oh no, I got it on that back. Just so <coughs> cool. You know what I could watch out, fool. Oh man, I'm sorry. You know what I could do? I could just take that bolt out and just flip the washer over. You could. I, you think it'd be rusty on the bottom side? Nah, they don't stuff don't rust. Oh, it only rusts where you're looking at yeah, it. Yeah, stuff only rusts <laughs> on the top. Lord have mercy. I knew I <laughs> I knew it. Uh, whoever had money on hippie hey, dropping that. When I tell myself, <laughs> when I tell myself, whatever you do, don't drop it. Yeah, you just you're just only get ready because you gonna drop it. You only got a thousand people who and gonna that, watch this that, video. That thing's probably zinc coated. It's zinc magnetized. No, it ain't. Huh? No. Lying ass. But then it ain't zinc. You don't even know if zinc is. <laughs> you just acting like you know what some zinc is. I'm pretty sure it's a. Uh, some kind of metal, huh? Clearly magnetized. That's what I, that's what yeah. I said. Well, it, what it? about copper? Is it is it phosphorus? I don't know what that means. If you, <laughs> would you go to college or something? You don't ever go to scrapyard? <laughs> I don't know what phosphorus means. Not phosphorus. What's the word? Magnet, magnet Porous. Oh. What's yeah, the word porous. they have? Porous. Porous metal, not porous metal. Magnanimous. <laughs> cavitate. Oh, cavitate. Or matriculate. Hey, here we got them, them got, words of the day. Hey, you got to matriculate carefully around my shop. Because <laughs> you do not want your oil to cavitate. Oh. 
Sometimes I like the camera pointing to me. It's all about me, bro, so, not the bikes. Hey, clearly they don't need to watch you struggle with the batteries. It's about <laughs> hippie, not the bikes. Oh, yeah, hippie. It's ain't about the child. Yeah, right. About hippie. Keep going. <laughs> How much time we at? We at 20 minutes. Golly, I'm trying to fire this bike up for them, bro. I, I know, but 17 of them minutes been on the same damn battery. <laughs> I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. <clears throat> don't worry, man. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. You worry too much. I ain't worried about it. Young player. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Fingers feel like something slicks on them. Something slicks on them? Yeah. Got that slick on you? <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> it's the little things in life, folks. It just makes a man real happy. <laughs> You'd never take that battery out again. I would determine what <clears throat> size socket that was. Well, <laughs> Tied it up with a socket, wasn't it? Here we are. What do you think it is? I believe it's battery. I believe it's battery. It's less smaller than a 716. Well, what size is next? Huh? Three eights. What is it? A three eight. Going down. Oh, goofy. eight. <laughs> you going down, goofball? Well, it ain't no ten. It ain't no telling where my eight is without having to dig around. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Three eighths won't go on it. Seven sixteenths too big, and none of my metric shit is where it was supposed to be. People are gonna get tired of just sitting there looking at the battery, Nick. They won't know what I'm over here doing. They wonder what is hip dog up to that. That's what they wonder. He frumpy looking, ain't he? This is supposed to be metric in here. The chances are it's mixed with everything. All right, we'll try a 10 millimeter then, damn it. Oh, good luck finding a fucking 10. <laughs> Joke me about that was probably a 10 right there, wasn't it? It's gotta be a 10. The one that I dropped, it went, the one that we'll the never one get. Went into no man's land. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> I'm sorry, I gotta tell you a little bit. I'm wrench up here. I told you it was measured. Didn't I? Mm hmm. You wanna make about, sure? About 24 minutes in. It's alright. You want to make sure that your leads are hooked up good, bro. Or you'll mess around. How far? We don't Nobody want. Him to tell like come hey, we don't want a fire around here, brother. Like she come on now. It yeah. is on. Cool. She works. Hey, shake it around a little bit. Make sure that that ground is good. <laughs> yep. Yep. Stay right there for a second. All right, I ain't going nowhere. See if I can. <laughs> I would think. Oh no. I 
ain't sending no pressure to it. I should be able to light it up this way, though. Hang on. Damn, I left that fuel on. There you go. It hesitated a minute flipping the switch backwards. I just want to check. I'm assuming that he's got this wired up properly. Everything else has been done pretty good on this bike. So if you'll notice, see that little cardboard thing I got hanging up under that yep. um, speedo cable? Go over and look at it. We're going to go take a journey over here. What is so this? So those are them chopper lights that I buy yep. from Prison Supply. And it tells you, you know, which one is your tail. I mean, you can hook them up to a battery. The, yep. the dimmer one's your tail light. The brighter one's just going to be your, your brake light. But I don't know. I'm assuming that's a two-wire light. Cause it's it's LED, so it's already grounded. Should be one wire going to the 12 volt to the switch. The other wire should be one of these two right here. Right. And That's then the the other one of these should go to 12 volts. So when you hit the brake and the pressure inside that little switch connect closes the connection, it completes the circuit and right. then that light comes on. In theory. In theory. That's how it worked. There you are. Did it come on? It lit up. The green lit up. That that put the front light on too. <laughs> so green is just bright. <clears throat> Mm-mm. Oh, Lord. Nope. <laughs> Neither one of them. Nope. I don't know which one to wire. If that, all that does is closes the connection, I should have been able to touch those two together and make that brake light come on. That's how, as far as this goes. Now on this, pre on this pressure switch, one wire from the brake light goes to here. Mm -hmm. This wire goes to 12 volts. So on the inside here, when the connection closes, that connects the light to 12 volts. That should go to the light. That should already be going to 12 volts. That should light the brake light up. I hate wiring. Oh, I know. Now, I, I don't mind it as bad as if I'm wiring it myself. Like I completely wired this bike up. I completely wired this bike up. And I completely wired up several other bikes. So I know the wiring on these bikes. I didn't wire this one. And everything's got this same kind of sheathing on it. Yeah. And so I don't know how it goes. Um, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know, maybe once I hook it up. Maybe once I hook it up. Where'd you say we were at? Uh, 30 minutes. So pretty much all I need to do is just bleed the brakes, hook those up. And, uh, and we'll probably be good to go.
like CB carburetors. They are so cold natured. Mm. There's gonna be somebody in my comments telling me, all you gotta do is this, this, and this, and CB's are perfect. I'm an SNS <laughs> kind of guy. Sorry. Super E and Super B carburetors on my jam. And that's the first Super B I've ever had. <clears throat> I was in a comment, there was a shovelhead page. The guy was talking about his Super B. And I mentioned that when I kicked mine over, mm -hmm. I had the throttle cracked about halfway. And everybody's like, I don't understand what the twist for. It doesn't have an accelerator pump. You know, just had like 10 people. They don't have an accelerator pump. They don't have an accelerator pump. Yeah, I know it don't. That's why it, I'm doing it as, when I kick it. Yeah. Because you walk over here right now, nothing's happening. Right. There's no accelerator pump on this bike. It's all vacuum. But when you're kicking it through, that right there's got a butterfly hope. It's sucking fuel through. Yep. But anyway, how much time are we at? 31. 32. 32 minutes. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long people are going to hang with me. They left halfway through the battery. They been gone, <laughs> I left halfway through the battery. Damn. They been gone. You're going to have to help me get it off the lift while you're here. Cause, uh -huh. uh, oh, you ought to see how I got to put a jack under this thing. It's so low because it's got a 16 inch front wheel on it. Yeah. I have to, I'll show everybody what I do. Got a little rocket. Huh? Got a rocket. No. Huh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Get under here and raise it up like that right there and slide the jack under because it's that motherfucker so low the jack won't go under. Hey, when you're out here by yourself, you figure out a you way. You don't mind being sketchy. Mm hmm. Hey, because I've dropped the bike off the lift before. What's, what's one more, you know? What's up? And this one's my bike. It can fall off the lift. I do got original banana calipers front and back for a shovel head. Anybody interested in them, hit me up in the comments. They are for sale. Soft tail out. Right. Supposed to be really decent here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, they I don't could... stick through like a quarter inch down there. And this being a rigid frame now, I don't got to worry about the tire, you know, getting on it. And they all run. They all run. Lord. Man, what you just saying? Hippie ain't got nothing to run. Uh, huh? Yeah. Sometimes it'd be lemon, sometimes it'd be lemonade, bro. Uh, I, it, hey, I might not have shit run until tomorrow. Let's be real. Six months ago, it was. Don't ask me about uh, my pants. Hey, you come a long way, big dog. Don't ask me about my pants. We're not going to talk about that. Sore subject. That's a, so, that's a sore subject <laughs> right now. Although, the, my engine builder did tell me he's he trying to get it next week. I hear that a lot, though. Thanks for watching. Hit the shop in the corner, home with the sketchy chops.